Hi, thanks for tuning in today. My name is Sabri Shan. I'm an expert IT consultant here on YouTube, helping people become professional IT consultants. If you're here for the first time, I help people become professional IT consultants. So if you are interested in becoming a professional IT consultant, you may want to subscribe to this channel because every Friday I'm going to put out new videos talking about IT consulting and how you can benefit from it and become a professional IT consultant in your career. So comment below if you have any questions make sure to press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel and wait for that video every friday on it consulting i'm your professional it consulting expert on youtube helping you become the consulting expert in it so today we're going to take a deeper dive into it consulting you and i are going to explore and understand what it consulting is all about and i'm going to provide all the information about it consulting especially the fundamentals that you need to know in order to make a con conscious decision to transition from a full-time employment into a professional IT consulting role in your career. If you stay with me till the end today, I promise to give you a couple of pointers that'll help you take the first couple of actions in transitioning your career into a professional IT consultant. So with all that and much more, let's go. Okay, so before we start talking about IT consulting, I think it is important for us to understand consulting in general. So what is consulting in general? Well, the term consulting comes from almost as far as the 16th century, where people used to have some kind of specialized knowledge, skills, or even information about something that they were sharing with others who were in need. So in other words, consulting is all about sharing an expertise through specialized knowledge and specialized skill sets in order to provide certainty to anyone who's looking for that expertise. So as consultants, the biggest outcome or the biggest achievement that we do for our clients is to provide certainty in their uncertain world, okay? So we provide certainty in a world of uncertainty by utilizing our expert knowledge and our specialized skill set to provide that certainty they're looking for. So today, any industry or any practice you might take has a certain amount of consulting that is involved. And that's because people are always on the lookout for expert knowledge and expert skills that are applicable to that particular industry. For example, you take accounting, you take finance, you take HR, mining, engineering, medicine, engineering in computer science, IT, pretty much all of these have a certain amount of consulting that is required or involved in that. Okay, so when you are providing consulting, you could provide consulting in a few different ways. So when an organization hires you as a consultant, they're hiring you to do a certain things for them. And usually those things will fall under three broad categories of consulting. So when you go in as a consultant, you could go in as a set of brains, you could go in as a set of eyes, or you could go in as a set of hands to help a client with their organizational needs. So if you are going in as an additional brain power to the organization, you're bringing in an expertise of strategic thinking to the organization, which the organization doesn't have at the moment, or seeking additional capabilities of that skill set that they want to strengthen within the organization. So if you are going in providing that extra set of eyes and ears to the organization, you are probably working on the market side of things. So you're, you're going in there to determine market product fitment, you're bringing industry knowledge and best practices to the table which the client doesn't have or is in need for a specific type of an initiative that they have going on within the organization and when you are providing extra pair of hands you are merely going in to share the work that the organization isn't able to perform due to shortage of resources or any other reasons within the organization where they need additional manpower to carry out certain operational activities so any organization has four levels there's the management level that governs the overall operations of the organization. The business level is concerned with conducting business with their end customers. The operations level provides certain level of support to facilitate the business at the business level. And finally, there's the IT level that supports the overall organization by providing the technology systems and the solutions in order for the business to operate, the operational teams to use the system 
systems to help the business operate and the management team to use the systems to understand how the business is being conducted to evaluate the performance of the business and to determine if improvements are needed and so on. So these are the levels in which an IT consultant is typically employed to provide their expert knowledge and services. So at a management level, they're always concerned with tactics and strategies that will help the organization outperform their competition. But at the business level, they're concerned with the availability of IT systems to help them facilitate those business transactions on a day-to-day -day basis. But at an operational level, they're looking for tactics and some strategies as to enhance their IT systems so they can improve the performance of those business transactions and the reliability of those transactions as well. And in IT, obviously they're looking for ways to improve the technicality of those IT systems in order to serve the organization and the management within the organization. So as an IT consultant, you could be consulting in any of these levels within the organization. And when you are involved in certain levels, there is a combination of one or more areas of consulting that you will have to provide as a result of your consulting services delivered to the clients. So when you are providing strategies to an organization, you're mostly working on roadmaps, business cases, and even procurement, identifying who the right suppliers are, who the right vendors are, and identifying partners in terms of sharing your network and relationships and so on. When you are working on the stability side of things, you're mainly focusing on standards, processes, and even people to a certain extent, right? You're helping them develop those materials, procedures, documentation that they need to effectively use the systems in order to carry out those business transactions on a day-to-day -day basis. So when you're working on tactics, you're mostly working on ways to improve the IT systems through the help of programs and projects, which are nothing but initiatives that IT departments undertake in order to enhance or implement new solutions in their IT portfolio. When you're focusing on the technicality of IT, you're mostly interested in enhancing or standardizing standardizing the, the IT infrastructure and the technology components of the organization. So if anyone talks to you about IT consulting, these are the four major areas in which an IT consulting can mainly specialize. So at the strategy level, you're probably working as a management consultant. At the stability level, probably working as a senior consultant, working with different groups and departments within the organization. At the tactical level, you could be working as a project manager, an analyst of some sort, or even a developer and architect can work on projects and programs and at the technicality level you'll be specializing as a developer administrator or even an architect working on the infrastructure and the technology components of the organization so in a nutshell this is how IT organizations work and this is how the consulting within an IT organization is structured and I hope this brings you some clarity in understanding what IT consultants do which we will dive deeper in in the upcoming videos I want to give you a couple of pointers to help you start with your consulting journey and if this interests you i'm pretty sure you'll be a great candidate for it consulting and here's what you should do go to my website at iitcinternational.com and sign up for a free webinar on it consulting so in there i talk a bit more about it consulting and the demands for an it consultant and how you can benefit by becoming an it consultant how you can transition from a full-time employment into a a professional IT consultant through our certification programs. So join me in my master class and I will help you make that transition successfully from a full-time employment into a professional IT consultant in your career. If you have any questions about IT consulting, make sure to add your comments in the comment section below and hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel because every Friday I'm going to put out a video that will provide more information about IT consulting in order for you to transition into that professional professional ID consultant in the marketplace. Until next time, you take care and stay safe out there.